Here is a breakout of my dual SCR acting as a, a triac circuit connected to an Arduino Uno. I can control the intensity of this lamp or motor speed or whatever. But before we get deeply into that, because the circuits are, can get a little complex, I felt it was time to do a review of silicon controlled rectifiers. Silicon controlled rectifiers or SCRs come in a number of case styles. This one over here, for instance, could be used in an industrial welder, can carry hundreds of amps. These, t these common TO220s here can carry, they ca this one happens to carry 8 amps, and they carry various amounts of amps. These, this two, and these two go on a PC board. For my test circuits, I was using the BT137 600E. They are rated at 8 amps at 600 volts. So they can carry some pretty good power if properly heat synced. But when I'm developing a circuit, I want to keep things small, keep the voltages down and so forth until I get the circuit working. So most of my preliminary, preliminary development work use these little SCRs. This is the MCR 100-6. They're rated at 400 volts at 800 milliamps. Hey, they're cheap. 20 for a dollar nine from eBay. Lots of people are selling them. So if you want to cobble together test SCR circuits, keep your voltages down to about 24 volts AC and use these small, cheap, if you blow them up devices, fine, you're not out much. A quick review on how SCRs work. An SCR can be thought of as two transistors, a PNP and an NPN connected as shown here. The anode goes to the positive side of the supply and the cathode goes to the negative supply and here is my load. When I press SW1, a small gate current will flow into Q2, the NPN, and I will have a gate current from the base emitter turning on Q2. When Q2 turns on, it creates an emitter base current through Q1, thus turning on and saturating Q1. So Q1 turns on and it supplies a holding gate current for Q2, and the two will keep each other turned on until such time that I break um, the voltage, turn off the voltage, open a switch or whatever. Here is your symbol for an SCR off to your right. So remember, once turned on by a, gate, a small gate current, it stays on until the current path is disrupted or turned off. Here is an SCR circuit connected to 24 volts DC. It's one of the little bitty ones that you want to test with. And it's wired up as such. So when I press SW2, I get my gate current. The SCR, this is the anode. This is the cathode. Always get your gate current from the anode side of the device. I get my main current, light bulb turns on, I release the switch, and the light bulb stays on. And it stays on until I press SW1, breaking the current path. Alright, this time I'm inputting 24 volts AC into the circuit you saw before. In this case, though, if I press the switch, the SCR will turn on like it did before, but it acts as a half-wave rectifier. And thus, your actual voltage across the bulb is something like RMS times 0.9 divided by 2. I got about 10.8 volts. So it acts like a half-wave rectifier when you trip it on with AC. And when you release the switch, it will turn off because the AC 
at the zero crossing point goes to zero, breaking the current path. I do not need switch SW3 any longer to turn off the SCR. Here is a SCR output optocoupler, the H11CX series. I have a completely separate video on how to use these, but these are used to turn on and off SCRs under computer control, such as with a microcontroller, but that's on a separate video. Finally, here is some example circuits of tripping on a silicon controlled rectifier with an optocoupler connected to, say, an Arduino or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use the H11CX series, which has a photo SCR output. And yes, you need that 47K resistor. That's explained in the other video based on those type optocouplers. Or you can use an MOC30XX, the ones that's designed for uh, tripping on triax. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, use that with a diode and it does the same thing. I built modules for both of these to use for this series of circuits and yes I built both of these and they do work. So this is the end of a brief review on SCRs. Uh, visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.